Good afternoon, Redeemer folks and everyone watching elsewhere. Uh, it's a blessing to be with you today. And our epistle reading today for the second Easter that we celebrate this coming Sunday is from Paul's letter to the Colossians, the third chapter. So Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 to 4. Paul writes, If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on the things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. You know, um, every morning when I get up, uh, I, I want the first thing I want to do is take a shower. I, uh, you kind of feel uh, a little bit grody after sleeping. Um, I sleep in a, a t-shirt and shorts, and and so you know, uh, I'm pretty hot kind of person, so I'm get kind of sweaty overnight, and so I want to get into the shower and get that sweat off my body and and then the first thing i want to do after i dry off of course is put on some nice fresh clean dry clothes um and i i want you to think about that as as we live our lives you know when we hear the paul's words if you have been raised with christ you see that's like washing away all the old spiritual crud in your life a spiritual sludge that kind of covers you day in and day out. When we put on Christ, all of that is washed away in the waters of our baptism. And as it's washed away in the waters of our baptism, then you know we don't want to go back to that. We don't want to go back and uh, dive right back into that sludge. We want to live uh, in something new and clean and fresh and pure. And that's what God is calling us to. You know, so there's a conversion. It's not just a conversion of the heart. You know, that's where it starts. And then we convert the mind. And then we convert the life. And as we convert the mind and the life, then we are doing what Paul is talking about here. Seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on the things that are above, not on the things that are on earth. Now our mindset has to change. We can believe in Jesus Christ in our hearts. We can believe in him and trust in the gift of his salvation. Now our mind has to change. Our mind has to change to begin doing and living those things that are pleasing to Christ and that bring him glory. And so that sometimes takes a conscious effort in here conscious effort to say no to certain things and say yes to other things, to do certain things and to refrain from certain other things. You know, as we're living, especially today, you know, we're seeing all this protesting and, you know, people are allowing the protest to carry them away. And that's why there's rioting, that's why there's looting, that's why there's buildings that are damaged, graffiti, and, and all that stuff, because they allow the ways of this world to run away with them. But we, in our conscious efforts, need to take self-control seriously. Self-control in what we do, self-control in what we say, self-control in how we act, that we might set our minds on the things that are above, not on the things of the earth. The things that are above are a whole list of things that Paul reminds us. He says, Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so also must you forgive. And it's so important that as we listen to that, we remember what's been done for us. All of those things have been shown to us by Jesus Christ our Savior, by his cross, by his resurrection, in the gifts that he gives us of word and sacrament. He has blessed us with these precious and powerful gifts. 
And so now in our minds, how do we respond in how we act toward others and how we live in this world and how we seek the things that are Christ's things, not the things of this world. When we seek those, then his love, his mercy, his grace, and his life and salvation is shown in us and through us. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us live for the living, living Christ. In his name, amen. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we pray that you would help us live each day for you, the living Christ, and help our lives to be more and more reflecting you. Help us to have self-control and to dwell on the things uh, that are above, not on the things that are in this world. Help us not to join in with the things that take place and divide one from another and create more havoc and problem than solution. Help us to be the solution. Help us to be the ones that are setting our minds on the things above and focusing on the goodness of our Savior Jesus Christ and his love and mercy and grace. Help us to share that now. Help us to put that on every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, blessings all and have a, a blessed day and live for the living Christ.